Hello everyone and welcome back to Okami HD. I'm Sean. And I'm Tanil. And uh, we're still here in Kamiki Village because... There's a couple of things to do. There's a few things that we can do now because we haven't been back to these parts in quite a while and we have a number of new abilities that we can probably get some stuff. So this episode is probably not going to have a lot of plot progression, but we're going to be doing a lot of side quests and item collection and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's still going to be enjoyable and there's going to be lots of fun characters to interact with and things like that. Yeah. So it first things first, we've got some flower or a... Uh, Celestial bud? I don't uh, remember what these things are called. The hun hunna something flowers <laughs> whoa. flower whoa there flower you go power power oh and oh so it's day <laughs> cool um and if you look up even further you can get up there uh, you you need maybe. to be able to see the flower and ami there we go uh -huh. There you go. And, like it always is in Okami, you gotta look behind the waterfall. Got a cute little pool back here. And it gets us a stray bead. Don't think there's anything, oop. Yeah, there's nothing else up here. But it's just a cool area. I like that you can, from here, just like look down on the village. Yeah, let me get over here so I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see all the way up to uh, Sakuya's tree when it, if it's in. Speaking of which, I think we should go over there. It's been a while since we've been to see Sakuya. All right, and here we are. We are back. And Whoa. holy cow, we've achieved a lot of goals recently, so we got some fruits. Well, because... goals is in reviving guardian saplings. Yes. Also, we got some visitors. Some new characters to talk to. Camellia. Sis, this tree suddenly burst out in flowers. What's going on? Oh, I get it. This is a dream. It must be. If someone would just hit me, I'll wake up from it. Well, you heard the lady. Crazy wolf! Trees bursting out into leaves and flowers? Weird things like that only happen in dreams. If someone would just hit me, I'll wake up from it. She thinks she's dreaming, eh? Well, then give her a good whack. That'll wake her up. I, I just did that. Ouch! Huh? Am I still dreaming? So, flowers really did just burst out all over this tree? But it can't be. Surely miracles don't really happen, do they? Haha, <laughs> we got some free praise for that. Yeah, and talk to him again. I guess I'll have to believe in miracles now. A bit. <laughs> hey, Camilla? There was a door to light over here. No, there wasn't. That's impossible. <laughs> no. Hmm. So it seems the little girl can see a lot of the spirit world, but her older sister can't. So, if I slash this down, it bursts open, and we got a crystal. Ooh. Which sells for a lot of money. And... Oh. Got the next one. A golden, a golden peach. peach. Ooh, that's also very nice. Fills yeah. the astral pouch instantaneously. It's an extra life on layaway. And the last one. Okay, bullhorn. Not as impressive. Yep. The crystal was really nice. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and hey, we can see... The statue of Nagi. This statue of Nagi is erected to protect the village, you see? It's located even deeper than Shiranui statue. Whoa, whoa. They must really revere him. But still, wasn't there an even bigger statue of him around here? Yes, indeed. But, uh... In order to do that, you gotta to walk go through, through the, the gate. gate. Oh, and look, it's Sakuya! Ah, uh, Great Mother Akami Amaterasu. The vile creatures that threaten our world are growing in strength. It is of the utmost importance that we exercise great caution. As you rejuvenate each guardian sapling, I sprout a new fruit. 
These are known as guardian fruit. They contain wondrous treasures that I'm honored to offer you. Each time you revive a sapling, you may return to Kamiki for more. Here, receive my offering. Your journey will be a long one, perhaps, but perhaps this will aid you. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Thanks, Sakuya. Cut that fur ball, revive a sapling, you'll get some fruit. Don't be shy, there's nothing like a present from a hot babe. Cool. And we already got them. So yeah, again, going through the gate takes us to another world. In which case, it'll take us back to... The tutorial zone. Yeah, and you can always come back here. Mm -hmm. There's really no reason to come back here, though. I thought there was a stray bead, but we already no, got that, no. didn't we? Yep, there's okay. no reason to come back here. All right, well... See you at the next spot. Let's we are do going some shopping. We we are gonna take Sakuya's uh, treasures that she gave us, and all the treasures we've gotten from the last several episodes, like these fish. Whopper was worth five thousand yen. Yeah, and get rid of all of it so that we're filthy, stinking rich. The crystal was worth the same amount as Whopper. Huh. Cool. Oh, we need to talk to Ida. Nice move, Pooch. Phew, I'm firing on all cylinders again today. So, what do you want? What's with that twinkle in your eye, pooch? You wanna race? Sure do. Okay, light, Lightning Ida will give you a run for your money. So, now we can actually race him. Ready, go! And by race, we literally just need to catch up to him. If you can cut him off here before he gets to this bridge, that's always a good thing. And just hit him. Phew, you caught up with me already? I'd never have guessed it, but you're a real sprinter, Pooch. That's one point for you, ha 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 ha. And we get some praise. Easy quest. We'll have to see how Ida's doing in the future. See if he can uh, do another race with us. I don't remember this. Oh, well, look at that. We probably could have gotten this a lot earlier. Yeah. And the reason we sold all our treasures is so that we could talk to Origiri Sensei. Onigiri. Onigiri Sensei. Um. We still don't have enough money to do all of his abilities yet. Yep. So essentially, we're just going to get more attacks on our. Uh, was whip. it on the reflector? Oh no. Rosary. It was a rosary. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. then you'll need to equip the correct weapon. Yep. Otherwise, he'll yell at you. <laughs> Yeah, so essentially now it's just going to give us six hits with that. Yep, yep. Technique scroll, good stuff. Do, do, do. Two, three, four, five, and six. That's a lot of hits. Mm-hmm. And he throws us a bone. Yeah. Thanks, Teach. For hitting it way too many times. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Ooh. I keep forgetting that we have that. <laughs> <laughs> Until we're leaving this place, and you're like, oh, yeah. Well, hey, look. It's the Nameless Man. Got anything for us? This is the life, huh? Oh, this is your character. Uh, oh gosh, wasn't I like a, a hippie guy? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, this is the life. This huh? is the life, huh? It's great to be clutching my axe again. See this kiln, friend? It disappeared when the curse struck. My workshop is my pride and joy. I'm stoked to have it back. I'm actually an artist communing with nature on a deep level, man. I can hardly wait to stop firing up some pots again. Start firing up some pots. Earthenware is like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out. I just finished firing my first piece. The Azure Neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like. Thanks. We'll take your drug pot. <laughs> well, that was 
wasn't what I was thinking of. I thought it was sweet. I mean, he keeps talking about how the emotions come out in the pot, and uh, he's a hippie. <laughs> I think I insinuated that. Yes. Although the game does insinuate it with his, man, whoa, yeah. commuting with nature and stuff. So. So cool. Check out the Guardian statue now. Looks like a great, th look. it looks great thanks to you. See, even the Guardian smiling. Aww. So I did that just without even thinking about it, but you take these pots and there's these statues all around. Uh, you pwn? No. Well, oh, Shinshu Field. Shinshu Field. If you take the pots to them, you get praise. Yeah. Looks like he snatched that vase and took it somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa he's he also pushing us around. snatched me and moved me. <sighs> Guess even wolves appreciate fun art. Man, everybody's just coming online now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's a matter of leaving and coming back. I think it's a matter of making it the next day. Oh. Just so you're aware. If that's what you were trying to do. Yeah. Also, that sun coming through the tunnel looked amazing. Just want to say. That was great. Great. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Still looking. Still looking after that first vase I gave you, buddy? I've come up with another one that's even better. Check it out, man. Second vase, the indigo neck. Potter's intuition is starting to come back to me, man. You can have it if you like. All right. Now we gotta find another statue, which we actually just looked at this episode. Yeah. I think is the one that you're going to. Yeah. Right over here by the cat statue. In this cracked hole that we just made. Boop. Oh, I love the little blush applied to their cheeks. Like, mm -hmm. that's so cute. Now we got 10 praise for doing that one. The white connoisseur returns. Don't worry, just a nickname I cooked up for you, man. Look, I just finished my, fir my third piece. My third vase, the rust neck. See that sober shading? An expert like you knows what it means, huh? We're two of a kind, you and me. Here, take it. Don't mind if I do. Here we go. So yeah, up the winding hill, under the bridge, on the way to the dojo. You pestering me for another one already, White Connoisseur? You can't rush genius. My work takes careful planning, man. Okay. Well, I don't think we can get any more out of him right now. No. We'll have to wait and come back. Yeah. Because after all, you can't rush genius. It knocks you back. Pew, pew. All I want to do. Pew, 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 pew. And a. And a. And a. And a. Oh, here we go. Hey. So we're on the search for Izu the String Cutter. And there's one other in this area. Yeah. We figured we'd go ahead and actually take. Take these. care of our wanted lists. <laughs> Since it's been a while. And now these guys are presenting absolutely no problem whatsoever because we've powered up our weapons and... I have better weapons in general. Yeah. Down you go. Also, Sean's using the rosary as a Wee. sub and it's really amusing. Pew. Oop, wait. Oh, oh boom, boom. There you go. It was difficult Kinda to see it. there. Another mischief-making monster down. So... Bye, Izu. Now we gotta just get... Biwamaru. Biwamaru. Here we ah, go. Ha, ha, ha. You found it. Biwamaru the Vandal appears. You got this. This guy doesn't even stand a chance. Come on. Come on. Got him.
There we go. Got him. After this, you gotta show off how many demon fangs we have. Because I think at the beginning of this, we probably had like 30? <laughs> okay. Another mustard monster making down. Shkapow. Well, what do you know? <laughs> You've taken care of all the names on the monster notebook. Won't the priest be happy to hear this? He might even give you a reward. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we now have 78. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, we went from like 25 to 30 up to 78. Wow. All right, let's go turn this in. Yeah. All right, back here... At the shrine. We head on in. Talk to Micah. Mika. Mika. Oh, it's you, Wolf. What are you doing back here? Mm hmm I don't believe it! Every single one of those wanted monster names is crossed out! Come to think of it, I haven't sensed any of them recently. But who on earth could have managed this? It's absolutely wonderful! I want you to give this to whoever it was, Wolf. Understand? You obtained gold, gold dust. dust. Yeah! Nice. So yeah, very good reward for taking out those These specific monster monsters. Notebooks. Yeah. Yeah, and we have another one that we'll have to take care of at some point. Yep. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next zone. Turn around. Look up. See how there's a ledge up there? Mm hmm That's where it is, I think. There's a flower. There you go. So, we came back to Suta Ruins because we have a stray bead missing from here. And it's a spot that you have to backtrack in the dungeon to get. Uh, I forgot about it. But, since we were on our way through, we figured we would come back here anyway. Indeed. We got a clover. And just so we're clear, uh, this is the same room that we had to push the glass ball down the hill. It was pretty easy. Yeah. You just gotta keep an eye out for the flower. And there we go. Huzzah! Boom! Ha ha ha! Another secret! There's a secret here that uh, just leads around to a... Clover! Another clover. I remember I was playing during this episode and I really tried to find this, but I just never bombed the right spot. Yeah. And I don't know that there's anything else over here. Yeah. Don't think so? Eh. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe you have to make it night. You can see through the crack there, so... Come on, night! Maybe not. Mm, nope. <laughs> Alright. So, back here in Taka Pass, there is this fiery chest that we can douse with water that's nearby. And get Ooh. another crystal. Holy nice. cow. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. All right. And just... Oh. oh. You got to have both the fire and the water on screen at the same time. You're supposed to not do it this way. Uh, like, you can do it this way, just the game really does not want you to. Oh! Oh, you got it! You got it! Quick, before it turns back on fire. Slash it. Oh my gosh! Yes. Nice! <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to be able to get that yet. No. 
Oh, you were supposed to have a different awesome. ability to get that, but uh, I finagled it. I finagled it. You cheated the game! Yeah! Woo! Yeet! Now yeet is for distance. <laughs> I'm going to go explore a new area. You little cheap. cheap what? Cheap, I figured I should cheap, show off cheap. something during this episode. Oh, man! It's the city checkpoint. We can't do really anything here yet, but I figured no. I figured showing a new area in this episode would be a good thing to do. So we got. I thought you were gonna do something else, but you're like, nope. Zoom over here to the city checkpoint. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it is. Wake up, guy. Who? What? Oh, uh, ahem. This is the checkpoint for Seon City. The big drawbridge is the only way in or out, but no one is allowed into the city right now. That's an absolute order from Queen Himiko. Say, you know the phoenix statues that protect this checkpoint? Well, they burned with the sacred flames that drove away evil, but they suddenly went out one day. That seems bad. Now I'm afraid monsters are going to sneak up on me when it gets dark. The sacred flames should never go out. Maybe that rumor is true. Rumor? Who? What? Oh, uh, have you heard that rumor? You know, that rumor about the huge cursed zone. Everyone up, Everyone's up in arms because it happened so close to the big day. I mean, the Kamiki Festival held each year. Plus, it's the 100th festival since that monster was defeated. So everyone's saying it's the 100 year curse. Uh, I mean, that seems pretty fair. Ooh, what? Uh, no one's allowed into the city. That's, uh, yeah, just saying the same things. A million times. I see. Guess I can't remember who I've told it to. I've told so many people. I always fall asleep, so I just immediately forget. Boing. Hello there. What's the matter, Poochie? Why the sad look? You'll never get anywhere looking like that. It's bad luck. I'm Yochi? Yoichi. 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 Yoichi, the greatest archer among all the city guards. The greatest archer? Yoichi. Holy smokes, that's some bow you got there, mister. What's this? You brought a friend along with you, Poochie? This is my trusty bow, Golden Fire, the most powerful in all the land. Guarding is rather dull work, so I pass the time by practicing archery. I'll show you what I can do. Watch this. Nice. Directly into the cannon. Wow, bullseye! Pretty good, eh? There's not a target golden fire and I can hit. Now, my friends, why not have a bit to eat and relax a bit? A bite to really... A bite to Whatever. Eat. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he's going to say anything else. Uh, you oh. want to pass through the city? Well, we have a problem then. I was guarding this city checkpoint when suddenly the order was given not to let anyone enter. Look, see how they rage raced the big drawbridge on the far bank? Normally, I'd fire a flaming arrow to single, signal to lower it, but there's nobody at the guard post over there. Wonder if my comrades in the city would notice if I fired an arrow. No matter. I don't have anything to light an arrow with anyway. You see, the sacred flames of the phoenix statue suddenly went out. It's been one thing after another lately. Anyway, at least I can get some well-earned rest. Why not have a bite to eat and take a break with me? So yeah, fun fact, Oichi is actually based on basically Japanese Robin Hood. Oh. Did you not know that? Uh, I feel like I did know that at one point. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. You got some trees you could bloom that you just ran past. Did I? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. I just saw this background. Oh, what a cute little doggy. Are you stuck here too? That big bridge over there, people call it the Big Drawbridge. It's very literal. It's what links Taka Pass with the city. <laughs> uh. As you can see, they keep... I like how that took you a whole, like, ten seconds. <laughs> As you can 
crazy. They keep the bridge raised these days, though. It's so dumb. You just gotta let it set in for a bit. You're <laughs> like, mm, uh huh. Yes. All right, quite. fine. <laughs> just funny. I wonder what's going on over in the city. Hey there, Pooch. You hoping to head over to the city too? I'm afraid no one's going anywhere with the big drawbridge like that. Even the checkpoint guards don't know why it's been raised. I bet there's something a, f a bit fishy going on. Fishing, fishing. Fishing? Fishy. Well, hey, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, you want me to let you know in a rumor I heard? Apparently there's some mysterious illness in Seon City. Oh. I wouldn't normally believe that kind of rumor, of course, but thinking about when I first heard it, well, I was right around the. T it was right around the time the bridge was raised. Oh! If the rumor's true, then I guess there's no hurry to leave here. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe best we can't go to Seon City. Some sort of quarantine. Well. Oh, another merchant. Oh, what a pain! Now that the big drawbridge has been raised, I can't get home. I heard Queen Himiko has issued an order to close off the city. But why would she give orders like that with so little warning? I suppose I'll just have to sell my goods here for now. You haven't been sent to do the shopping, have you? Do some shopping? What you got? Hey, yeah, we uh, can now buy mermaid coins whenever we want. Bunch of junk. All junk. Let me give you my junk. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, examine the little things. Looks like graves for me, for travelers who didn't make it to the city. What a pity. May they rest in peace. Mm. Oh, birds. That's what I was looking for. It's like, there's got to be some animals around here. Some more nightingales. We were actually looking at the animal tomb, tome. Er, tome earlier, and we've fed all the sparrows. Yeah, I think I'll show that off right now. Yeah, I, I, like I was just impressed with us. Like, wow. Oh, wait, that's not what I want. Oh no, but you can show off the canine warriors. Jean stands for justice. And... Chu stands Chu. for loyalty. Gi stands for duty. And Tay stands for brotherhood. Yeah. Uh, animal tome. See? 100% sparrows fed. Nice. Getting pretty high on some of these. The nightingales actually are next 70%. close. Oh, wait, no, nope. we have 87 deer. <gasps> we forgot to feed Ume. Crap. <laughs> Ume. Get over here, you stupid canine warrior. Eat your food. There we go. All right, back to what we were doing. <laughs> Oh, feed! Whoa, 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 hey! Whoa, whoa, pigs. whoa, piggies! Pigs out of nowhere. Eat that food! Yeah, there was. We were just running through, and suddenly, uh, there was like a couple pigs to feed. Right? I'm glad I saw that. Yeah. What? No! Uh. no. Well, you haven't. Molly, we're not really interested in playing right now. Sh Sean? I want to know what he's got. Another oh, vase. Just a vase. Nope, I'm done. Nope, no. Peace out, Molly. Come back when you have something worthwhile. Well, hello. Ah, hi, obvious chest. <laughs> With a straight bead. bead. Nice! Neat! So back here at the city checkpoint, if There's... you go down... Actually, yeah, this whole area we can go down. And check out, you wanna get those pots? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Who knows, they might have like feed bags or just oranges. That's fine too. We, we after oh, all, we bag. do have another uh, astral pouch to feed now, so... Oh, mother tree. In Kamiki village, there grows a magnificent tree called Konohana. Konohana split its roots into to form many trees throughout Nippon in order to pre better protect and preserve the glory of nature. Differing accounts shed little light on the tree's true origin. 
Some say that the tree was born when it sprouted from a dead god. Others speculate that it was transplanted from a faraway land. No story yet concocted can be considered the true version. However, the sensation I get as I draw Kona Konohana is unmistakable. This is a plant that cannot be tamed by a mere brush. The miracle of its, of its existence is more than can be sketched. One, wonder, one wonders what secret lies beyond its broad leaves. Hmm. Nice. I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> But yeah, if we come down here... You can see that this area is actually a lot bigger than it initially looks. Yeah. It's huge. And we could jump in a boat. Not that the boat's going anywhere. Help. 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 Never mind. Screw the boat. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, fine. I give what up on What you should boats. do is you should draw a lily pad on the water. Uh, draw a lily pad further out on the water. <laughs> what? Nope. What? Yeah, I thought it'd go drifting away too, but uh, apparently not. Lily pads drift here, though. Oh, there you go. Okay. I guess you're just off in a spot... The, the lily pads aren't drifting. But yeah, lily pads drift down the it river broke. here. Huh? It broke. No! What? What's going on? Do they only... What? This is weird. This is really weird. I think the game is actually broken. That's so bizarre. Well, okay. Normally, I mean, they drift. we could use that to our benefit. Um, yes. Because, yeah, the lily pads drift, and it makes it so that you can't really get upriver. Yeah. Um, but using the lily pads, you know, if it's not drifting, you can use the lily pads to get upriver. Oh, hey, look. Check behind the waterfall. Fine, but first. Whoa, careful. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. And get a stray bead. Easy stray bead. Well, look at that. <laughs> Another sneaker it. Oops, no, that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's still yeah. only five. Man, I thought there were clovers that gave you more than five. There's like one or two. Most of them seem to be that amount though. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. And tanukis. And ha! Diggy diggy dig! Ha. Oh, okay. Exorcism slip ups. All right. All right. I'm gonna run to the end here, but I don't know that there's really anything else for us right now. Yeah. Another clover and another chest. And bead? Yeah, I thought so. All over the place. But we will collect all 99 or 100 or whatever. Stray beads! All right, there Very we go. Good. Well, I think that With might this be- This pretty screenshot here. I think this will be the end of this episode. Uh, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So- I love the black wind, like- At night? Yeah. Or oh, like- So cool. That's so good. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this episode. So join us back here next time as uh, we probably actually progress the plot. Yeah. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.